I'm filling up my glass for the last time. <laughs> All right, let me fill mine up too, so I can ask you the final one that I have here of my questions. Hang on, just would you want to move your microphone a little bit to the side because now it's focusing on that and your face is kind of blurry. All right, good. Yes, not blurry, but it's just like I feel like I'm. You're in the back of your microphone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want you, to see your face, not that. What do you face. mean? My <laughs> microphone is beautiful. Don't you want it to just? It is. But so are you. <laughs> I know. I should kind of figure out a better setup for my microphone to kind of, kind of maybe come like here from above. From <laughs> but I know it's kind of like in front of me, right? Like yeah, exactly. Could, yeah, yeah. What, yeah, what about great. this? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, I agree. Yeah. All right. Um, this is a, yeah, a personal topic, a personal um question let me just read it a little bit closer right now <laughs> uh so all right yeah and i i want to ask this question um because we both and i think you know what i'm gonna ask at least after this sentence now that i'm gonna say it's something that we both experienced in life uh, it's something that a lot of people will experience at some point in their life so i think it could be very helpful uh, maybe for you and for me to give some kind of some inputs on this. So what I want to ask is like, what have you learned from losing someone and losing someone in this case, I mean, your brother, right? Yeah, that's the first part of that question. Then I have another one is how do you, but let me first let me first let you answer that question. Like, what have you learned from this experience of uh, yeah losing your brother? Ooh, what I've learned from it. Ooh, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, that's a big one. You said yeah. one for last, huh? <laughs> oh, well, I've actually it's a it's an interesting question because I've asked myself that question a lot. Mm. You know, okay. uh, what is it that? I have learned from this, uh, if anything at all, um, yeah. because sometimes it feels completely meaningless to have lost somebody, mm. you know, it doesn't, hasn't given me anything other than just complete heartbreak and sorrow and grief and endless, endless sleepless nights and sorrow and buckets of tears, you know? Mm um so it's just mm, when i am have better days and i'm trying to look at i mean the positive I don't, I don't want to use the word positive either because it doesn't resonate with me but uh useful uh, probably is a better word and that's a better word yeah that is what you're asking too so um, so I don't know if I can even answer that, but what I can tell is that. Do you feel okay talking about this, by the way? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't wanna... It's just, it's just very, it's a big question, right? So yeah. it's really, it I kind of have to take it. Uh, it's like a process to kind of get to the answer, I guess. Um, but I definitely feel it has given me the opportunity to have genuine compassion with somebody else who has lost somebody yep. which which makes me a person they would come to when mm. they have experienced this which is a very nice feeling mm -hmm. you know to be able to be there for somebody who really don't have anyone else to go to to talk to because a lot of people would avoid talking about this at any cost, uh, especially those who haven't experienced it. Mm. So when you have the experience firsthand, at least you can be a resource for somebody who's just going through this, you know? And I think <clears throat> that is, is, is nice in a very ironic way that you can mm. share, you know, you can understand 
how the process that they're going through, the emotions that are running through their bodies at all, you know, types of, you know, time or, you know, all that stuff. <clears throat> so, you know, I think that's, that's, uh, that has, this is a nice thing. Mm -hmm. um, but um, other than that, I really don't, and it's also a little bit maybe about that whole gratitude thing, living in the moment and, and um, trying to make the most of life. I think, I mean, I've always had that feeling, but after I lost my brother, I definitely got a wake up call mm. uh, in terms of, all right, life is happening right now, yeah. you know? And so, but I've always, you know, had the thought, like if an opportunity came to me, I would always consider it. You know, sometimes, most of the times I would say yes. Uh, but after this, I would definitely, you know, still have that very much in my consciousness in terms of, you know, this is a, an, an opportunity I want to take. Very often it would be. Um, and just going, yeah, just being grateful for it and, and just, you know, because losing somebody gives your life an automatic depth that you haven't that you didn't have before mm -hmm. and that depth is actually valuable can you for a second give some context to like when uh you lost your brother so well so the it's, it's just that because it is so easy to live go through life and not really reflect on what's important and what gives you meaning and what makes you happy mm -hmm. i mean a lot of people that i know it sounds really sad when i say it but it seems like they they, they just live on the surface you know they just kind of go like woo, 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 you and they don't really reflect on what's going on behind the curtains you're like or in a, on a deeper level and mm -hmm. if you ever try to bring up something in a conversation that's a little bit uncomfortable they would basically just scoop it under the carpet or not even talk about it and this kind of like go back up to the surface because that's where it's more comfortable but when you have lost somebody you are forced to not be comfortable you're forced down on a level that you that's don't true. really want to be but you are you have to feel the mm. deepest the worst the the saddest emotions that you can actually feel mm. feel them so whether or not you want to have more depth in your life or your your perspective on life you will automatically get it because you have to you know mm -hmm. you pushed down there somewhere you know somehow um so but of course you know then people can bounce back up to the surface because they don't want to be down there oh. that journey that you were on yep uh, once you, w while you were in that kind of dark place, I think that will give, uh, give you more fulfillment or give you, give you more joy in a way, mm -hmm. you know, because, because then you feel, at least for me, then I, when I really feel happy and joyful, I really, really feel it. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, I can, I, I really, woof, I well, really, you have myself. something, you have something to compare it to. Yeah. And that's what sometimes a lot of people do not have. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, you know, that must be probably the one thing, one of the few things I can take out of this. The question together with that was like, how do you co-op with losing someone mm. today? Well, I mean, I'm laughing because okay. it's such a hard. <laughs> it's a very it's, hard question. it's and I I am not just. I mean, I know what it kind of feels right. Uh, feels yeah. like so. Yeah. No, but I mean, uh, I have had this question asked to me before, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean. Um, don't also what uh I don't even know how to phrase this. Um 
the only I think thing that so when you have lost somebody and it feels horrible and you don't really see the light in the tunnel mm -hmm. and you think that you're never going to laugh again you think that you're never going to feel joy again or you're never going to feel anything that has to do with pleasure or anything you know when it's really that dark yeah what i can say is and i and this goes for i, I would say 99 percent of the people that has lost somebody mm -hmm. that time will heal the the sorrow you know it will be better mm. in time you know yeah. you just have to give yourself the time to grieve and cry and scream and go to therapy and do all the things that you need to do to get yourself out of the tunnel mm. because there is a light in the end of the tunnel yeah. even though you can't see it and you you might take you a long time before you see the light in the end of it but there is a light and uh even though you don't believe it you just have to know that it's there yep. because it is it is possible to have a nice a good life after you've lost somebody even though you know you feel at the moment that it's impossible to 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 have a life without your partner or whoever it is that you've lost it yep. is actually possible it the thing is that <clears throat> you still feel all the things that you felt before Mm -hmm. It's just that you just have a little part of your heart that is, you know, a sorrow and you will carry that with you all the time. So even though you feel like this enormous amount of joy, you will still do that. But you will still, of course, have a little bit of piece of your heart that is carrying that mm -hmm. little grief or that little sorrow and that, you know, that you miss the part, the, the person that you have lost. But you can still feel the whole rainbow of experiences and, and emotions on the good side. Yeah. So it just, you will still feel the joy. It just feels a little bit different. That's all. This is like such a common answer. Uh, I think, yeah, like for most when they went through this and lost someone the same. But it's common because it's true. And uh, it's hard to realize when you just lost someone, right? So... Mm -hmm. But it is true. Uh, mm. But the hard part is giving time the opportunity to heal it to some degree. <clears throat> but the whole, you know, of having lost someone is always going to be there. It's, you know, it, it's never going to be filled up in a way, right? You're always going to have, you're, you're always going to have lost your brother. You know, you've always kind of lost whoever, right? It's always going to be there. Um, so I think if I could just share with you what I... Um, it's going to be a little bit similar in some ways. Um, but so first, like what I've learned from losing someone, someone uh, and that someone is like my dad then, is and I, like it is quite similar so it's quite interesting to also let me confirm again like what you've sort of said but and it's not like i would wish someone to lose a person you know like that pain to go through that i would never want to wish that upon anyone but what it did definitely teach me that i do feel sometimes people don't completely get when they haven't lost someone is just the fact that life ends and I feel like my dad definitely taught me that lesson that, you know, yeah, life is ticking away slowly. You never know when it's going to end. It could be any, any age. It could be so random. So just, you know, live life right now as much as you can. Do what makes you happy. And, uh, yeah, it can end any time. And that lesson has really helped me uh, to do quite a lot of, of, yeah, what I've done in life, of like the travels that I've done. Um, and so I'm very happy for that lesson, actually. Uh, so I think that's what I, what I learned from losing someone. So it's kind of like the same what you said of uh, not taking things for granted. Mm. And I think in, in the way of like how I cope with it is... 
to to kind of truly understand that life is not fair and you know everyone goes through hard times everyone has some kind of unfairness to them it's just how life is life is just not fair and maybe it's not helpful for some but it's helpful for me to just acknowledge that yeah life is not fair it's just how it is and then to mainly focus on the lesson that it taught me that is how i am sort of able to cope with it to just focus on on what my dad should through that has taught me you know to not take things for granted and to sort of like try to live as much as i can uh, now that's yeah um how i'm able to cope with it but again the hole that it creates it's there it's always going to be there and it's sort of accepting the fact that it's going to be a part of you now mm. and that's not easy but you learn to deal with it after yeah. a while you learn to acknowledge that it's a part of you and that's sort of the thing that i said at first that life is not fair you know you didn't want this you didn't ask for it but it is how it is now <laughs>